Welcome back, ladies and germs, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English size them, and then make funny noises. <laughs> I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and little red devil, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have another exciting installment of Kabashima and Oda's Shochan Adventures. In our previous episode, Squirrel and Show's house burned down, causing them to acquire a series of increasingly crappy jobs. <laughs> you can check out that episode on this channel, but before we get to today's episode, I want to thank everyone who came out to see me at Anime Iowa. Our first ever live show had uh, a few glitches, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun, so thank you all again for coming out to support me. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Shiroi Karas, the White Raven. All right, let's do this. The sun had almost set when Squirrel and Show arrived at a mountaintop shrine. The sun's gone down, and it's getting mighty cold. Oh boy, Show, I'm pooped. There were no other places to stay nearby, so Show stopped for the night at a shrine. Sorry. But it looks like we're going to have to sleep here for the night. At least it's something. The pair went inside, and around midnight, a party arrived carrying a palanquin under torchlight. <laughs> when they saw a mob of bandits suddenly break the tree line with their swords drawn. You there! Hold up! We're under attack! He literally says, Yeah, 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 Ksemono! <laughs> Ruffians! Vagabonds! And in the blink of an eye, a fight broke out in front of the shrine. Yeah! Yeah! No, please! We're done for! The bandits overwhelmed the samurai, cut them down, and opened up the palanquin. Inside, a beautiful noble lady wailed as she melted into tears. <laughs> Must be your lucky day to be caught by the likes of us. Sho saw what happened outside, got up, and quickly opened the shrine door. Those bozos are no good. Now you will tangle with Lord Squirrel. <laughs> he literally says, the sound you hear is that of Lord Squirrel. <laughs> Risusama. Sho took the bandits by surprise, flying at them from all sides. Gotcha! Why, you little... <clears throat> Finally, once all the bandits had run off, Sho asked the noble lady to speak with him. Do you have any idea what they were after? <laughs> you know, we can't understand you if you keep crying like that. <laughs> look, look at the marvelous artwork. <laughs> day by day, the local lord had grown mad with a desire to dine upon the god's beloved White Raven. Title check. But regrettably, he knew not where to find it, so night after night, he made periodic visits to local shrines. Sho helped the lord's men to their feet, and once he'd gathered them together, headed down the mountain toward the castle. What? Were you too wimpy to get away? N no. They were hiding in the shadows. A dark cloud hung over the castle, diminishing its majesty. Our lord has gone mad. The one who came that day must have done something to him. His lordship, with eyes like a crazed beast, was tearing his room to pieces. How can they expect me to eat this disgusting gruel? I want the White Raven! The White Raven! Show and Squirrel hid themselves in the, in the adjoining room and waited there well into the night. Things have gotten really out of hand. And where's she been going at night? A distant temple bell told the witching hour, and there was the sound of a loud bang next door. So... The witching hour is sort of my rough representation of the fact that it says the third hour of the ox. I'm not going to get into the zodiac time system. It roughly corresponds to about 2.30 in the morning, which in Japanese folklore is typically when ghosts come out. Ah! 
Quietly, they peered through a gap in the door and saw the peculiar sight of a devil leading his lordship away. So, you're absolutely certain you can bring me the raven? Yes, I will. <laughs> I will. Sho followed their tracks and found the pair climbing into the back of a massive tree. Got him! They went in there! Things sure are getting interesting. That's when the smell of phosphorus filled the air, like something out of the land of the dead. Now, I think this is probably actually supposed to be sulfur, but the Japanese does literally say phosphorus. It says hirin. So, I don't know. You, you figure that one out. <laughs> What's that horrible smell? <laughs> I don't think I can take it. <laughs> when they look down in the fog, the heads of the dead appeared from out of the sand and floated to its surface. What the hell is this? Show, I'm scared. His lordship plucked out one of the heads with a crook he was clutching in his hand. There we are. Yes, yes. <laughs> He stripped away the dead bodies to reveal a small boat jammed among them. Soon, my friend, soon you will have your white raven. <laughs> Sho held back his breathing as the boat was fully revealed. So, this is what you require? That's when the devil, chuckling to himself, grabbed the collar of his lordship's kimono. <laughs> Turns out you've got yourself a real devil on your hands. <laughs> his lordship couldn't have foreseen such a turn of events, and in his shock, called out for help. What? 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 What have I done? It was no use. The devil intended to use the boat to ferry his lordship to the devil's own domain. You made me a promise. You owe me one life. Help! The devil was about to hurl his lordship into the desert of the dead. Cry out all you like. Only the dead can hear you. <laughs> Sho dashed after them, yelling, Stop, you devil! You! There! Stop! Get him, Sho! Sho finally caught up to the devil, but it was too late. He'd already hurled his lordship into the mass of the dead. Crap! We're too late! He, he really did it! He threw him away! Without warning, Sho leapt at the devil with all his might. Don't give up, Sho! <laughs> Yo! Within the smoking sand, his lordship cried out for someone to save him from his predicament. Help! Help me! I can no, burn, no longer! I, I'm burning! The devil was incredibly strong. Sho was in real danger. What could he possibly do to defeat him? Come on, Sho! You can do it! Come on! That's when the white raven flew overhead and smacked the devil in the face with its wing. Yeah! Sho didn't flinch, but lifted the devil up over his head and offered up his life instead. Ooh! You got some nerve! The dead could only groan as Sho drove the devil into the burning sand. Yeah! <laughs> you did it, Sho! Goodness gracious, you did it! In the meanwhile, the raven floated high in the air as it flew back with his lordship in tow. Oh, it got him! Where do you think it's taken him? Sho, together with Squirrel, went back along the same route they came in on. Nothing to do but head back to the castle! Man... I'm getting tired of all this. When they arrived at the castle gate, a large crowd had gathered there. Whoa! 
That's quite a lot of people over there. Yeah. What are they up to? Among them, a man was crying out in anguish, his face a complete mess. Why, why, why don't you believe me? All those gathered around him laughed and laughed at how absurd he was. <laughs> He's out of his mind. <laughs> Who could possibly take him seriously? <laughs> Sho knew it was his lordship, who'd survived the whole ordeal just by the skin of his teeth. Hey there, my lord. With my face like this, no one knows who I truly am. So Sho let them all in on the story that had transpired so far. What? Y y you don't say. It's all true. The White Raven saved him. Just then, her ladyship came out to see and nearly fainted at the sight of him. Oh, hey, it's that nice lady from before. Oh, oh no, she looks like she might fall over. His lordship caught one glimpse of her and collapsed at her feet with a thud. It's over for me. I'm done for. Oh, what a wretched sight you make. The lord, in his misery, begged her ladyship for something to eat, anything at all. Uh, I would be so grateful for whatever you could spare me. Here, eat this rice porridge. Oh, it's okayu, which, by the way, is just rice and water. I mean, you can add a bunch of other things, too, but it's, it's delicious. I love okayu. The lord, his mind now free from demonic influence, repented for his actions with his whole heart. I was completely out of my mind. I'm so very, very sorry. All the food that had been left uneaten, he gave to the poor so that they might prosper. Come, come, please, take this. From this day forth, I work for you. The castle grounds became a garden anyone can visit, where his lordship also built a school. And from that point forward, the world learned to live with wisdom and compassion. <laughs> and scene. That's all for this week's episode. If you enjoyed this video, and actually I enjoyed this video a lot, so please don't, don't crush me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really liked this video, again, don't crush me, <laughs> you can support my work on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga, all one word. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I will be back next week with another episode of Manga Trans Dub Theater, but until then, don't let the devil get you down. Bye. <laughs>